Welcome, welcome everyone. Um, glad you can make it. I am uh, Dr. Marcus Hummings. I am the Interim Executive Director for the Howard University Counseling Service. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit today about uh, mental health and some of the services that we provide uh, students. Um, <clears throat> so first I wanna talk about what is mental health. Uh, mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects everything that we say, think, feel, and do. Um, it affects the way we manage stress. Um, Uh, it affects the way we handle stress, um, <clears throat> make choices, um, interact with others. It affects every single stage of your life, um, and especially um, the college ages. So I uh, want to make sure that we focus on keeping solid mental health. Our mission uh, goes along with uh, Howard's mission, in which we support mental health services to the students, provide clinical training and prevention and intervention programming. Uh, we wanna promote your personal development throughout your uh, studies here at Howard. Um, and we wanna make sure that we assist students in um, overcoming any challenges to your academic success. Next slide. Um, <clears throat> We provide uh, in-person and teleservice, uh, teletherapy um, services. Um, we use HIPAA compliant um, programs, platforms for uh, teletherapy or tele telemedicine. Um, these three are what we typically use and what you would use uh, to see our staff members. Uh, next slide. <clears throat> now we are coming out of uh, pandemic uh, policies. Uh, we are still primarily virtual, but uh, we hope to be uh, much more as students uh, come back on campus and choose to come in to the counseling service for services. We hope to be a lot more, provide a lot more in-person um, services uh, than in the past couple of years, but that is our plan. We also ask you uh, and promote uh, to you um, uh, just healthy mental health practices, um, relaxation techniques, exercise, diet, um, a healthy diet, uh, adequate sleep, uh, supporting one another, and also uh, it's healthy to reach out for support from the faculty, staff, and peers uh, whenever you need to. Uh, also, um, uh, I'll mention later, but uh, we also um, uh, promote uh, social justice issues um, <laughs> in our work with the students. So we will oftentimes have um, discussions with students um, and group discussions and panels that go along with current social justice issues um, or uh, topics that may be currently affecting the student population. Next slide. Um, as a student, all you have to do is, e is call us, not email us, but call us. Uh, we're transitioning to all uh, phones, um, but uh, call us, uh, fill out the consent forms uh, where you give us permission to provide you with services. You have to give us permission. Um, our And all we will do is make sure that your uh, information and identity is kept confidential. Um, and uh, in order to receive services, all you have to do is find a safe place that is quiet and private 
uh, for you to have your appointments with us. Um, but make sure that it's a quiet, safe, private place for you to have your appointment. Next slide. Um, <clears throat> uh, now, there are long-term therapy services that uh, we refer you to. Um, currently, your student insurance is through United Healthcare. So after you receive therapy services from us, or if you require um, services that we do not provide, we will refer you to um, providers that uh, accept the Howard insurance uh, in the community or uh, et cetera. So uh, we make sure that uh, if you have the Howard uh, insurance, um, that you have providers uh, that you have access to and can use your insurance. There is no additional cost to receive services from the counseling service. Our fees are included in your student activities fees. So there is nothing extra that you pay in order to receive services from the counseling service. Um, Healthiest You is one of our online providers. Uh, we are leaning more towards uh, Healthiest You in terms of um, students' access for online services, long term online services. So once you uh, once you finish seeing us um, and you want longer term services or to continue seeing a, um, a therapist, then you can um, utilize Healthiest You in order to have long term services. At any time, if you are uh, having an emergency um, that is a life or death situation, uh, we want to make sure that you call 911 if you are online and not, uh, uh, you know, sitting in front of us. Uh, we want to make sure that you know to contact uh, the correct authorities in order to keep you safe and uh, sound um, through your matriculation. Uh, next slide. <laughs> um, uh, and remember that uh, you have to give us permission in order to provide you with services. So you have to fill out the consent for treatment form and provide us with emergency contact information to make sure that we can um, keep you safe um, while you're in our care. Um, none of you, the calls or uh, video sessions that you uh, have with us are to be recorded. Um, that is confidential information um, that is federally regulated. And um, those recordings would not be kept up to the standards of, of federal law. Um, and uh, your privacy cannot be guaranteed if um, the information is stored or collected on, um, on devices or stored in places that uh, are not uh, federally regulated. Um, let's see, uh, next slide. All right, so the process of getting um, services from us, all you have to do is give us a call. Um, it will ask you a couple of screening questions. Um, and then our front desk staff will um, go about uh, scheduling you for an initial intake appointment uh, with one of our counselors. That intake appointment will be for the purpose of collecting more detailed information about what your presenting concerns are and um, a history of your presenting concerns so that we can determine uh, your treatment needs and how best to approach the concerns that you have when you're coming in uh, for treatment with us. Uh, now, uh, that intake counselor, uh, along with the rest of our treatment team, will give you um, some recommendations and referrals uh, to best 
uh, move forward with treatment and resolve some of the presenting concerns that you have. Next slide. Um, uh, those, uh, next slide. Uh, next slide. Um, those uh, recommendations that you can get or referrals that you can get from our, uh, the person who does your intake. Um, uh, one of the, they can entail the following, uh, one or uh, more of the following. Uh, brief counseling in the counseling center for up to eight sessions. Group counseling, uh, short-term or long-term groups. Um, uh, possibly a, a referral for medication evaluation. Um, if you uh, are in need of or want to um, participate in medication treatment, uh, we can refer you for that. Uh, we'll oftentimes refer you to on-campus resources as well in other departments of the university, as well as make referrals to off-campus resources, um, providers, um, organizations, uh, et cetera, facilities, uh, but we'll make also uh, off-campus referrals as well. Um, and if you are at a distance, we will refer you to um, uh, providers in your area uh, that will either be uh, providers on your insurance or um, uh, sliding scale fee, meaning uh, you might pay uh, since you are a student and don't have income um, a dollar or two. Uh, in order to receive a session. Um, psychoeducational workshops, and I'll uh, show you some examples of some of our workshops in the past. Uh, uh, they are typically held between four to six weeks, um, and they are skill building or just inside oriented, but uh, go along with your development as a student, as a young adult. Um, and we want you to um, develop as much as possible while you're here at Howard. Um, or uh, there may be a combination of um, uh, those uh, referrals. Uh, next slide. Uh, now, uh, here are some examples of some of the workshops that we had. In the past, um, uh, take note of managing anxiety, stress management, um, Black women's support uh, workshop, uh, men's emotional development workshop, um, self esteem and performance workshops. Um, uh, these are some examples of uh, some of the workshops that we have for you uh, during the academic year. Uh, we will be having these and more um, during your time here um, at Howard. Uh, you do not have to be a current um, client receiving therapy services to be a part of uh, our workshops. So we want it open to the entire student body um, to be able to participate in our workshops. Next slide. Um, emergency contacts. We have a crisis line here in the counseling service that is devoted to students. 202-345-6709. Um, that is available after business hours until eight o'clock in the morning. Um, so you can call that line and one of the staff members will pick up um, and speak with you. So if you call during business days, business hours, you will talk to a front desk staff member. If you call after hours, you will talk to one of the crisis line um, uh, responders uh, in the counseling service. On the weekends, it's 24 hours. Uh, some other resources that you may um, uh, want to take note of as well. Next slide. Uh, 
in order to keep up to date with uh, the workshops, some of the um, process groups that we have, some of the um, uh, groups that we talk about uh, social justice issues or issues on campus, we want you to participate in, um, but also um, we uh, share a lot of um, kind of self-help tips, um, stress management, um, uh, study skills, uh, healthy relationships, all types of information that we share on our social media. And we want you to take part in those resources. So follow us on social media, um, uh, especially Instagram and Twitter, and, uh, and uh, just stay connected with us. Next slide. And um, that will conclude my presentation. Thank you.